this is Maria. I'm going to show how I made this uh, layout using Procreate and stickers by Jenny Golan. Now this is the Big White Digi Bujo, also by Jenny, and I prefer to add my stickers in using Procreate, so I'm going to show you how I did that. So first, um, this is the planner I actually use, so I don't want to use my, uh, lose my notes here, so I'm going to click my lasso tool. I'm going to select handwriting only and I'm going to cut and paste these handwritten notes and I'm just going to paste them into a blank page just so I don't lose what I already had. Okay, So now I'm going to click the three dots at the right, clear the page, and we're going to start from scratch. So first thing I do is copy a blank page out of my journal so that I have the right dimensions to work in. So I'm going to click the three dots at the right, same ones, export, current page, format is image, image again, export, save to camera roll, and this will save this image without all the goodies that go across the So now create, I'm going to click my add button and click screen size for a new canvas. Okay, I'm going to click the wrench tool at the top left, image, insert photo, and I'm going to pick up that last image that we just saved. Now let's add a new layer and let's pick up our sticker sheets. Now you can use the arrow tool and insert your photos from wherever you have them stored, if they happen to be in your photo roll or in your um, Dropbox or wherever. Mine are in the cloud, um, and you can do the split screen with the cloud and with photos. Um, you can just pick them up from the bottom and drag them over here. I find this easier to do because the files are bigger. You can see the pictures better. So forgive the cat scratching in the background here. And I'm just going to simply drag over the images that I want to use. So let me find the ones I want. I want that one. I'm going to size it roughly here where I want it. Add a new layer. I want washi across the bottom. Nope, not that one. I need this one for the washi that will go at the bottom and at the top. I'm going to hide this layer by just clicking that check mark on the right. I'm going to add, I'm going to go ahead and add in all the sheets that I think I'm going to need here so that they're easier to find later. So I'm going to hide that layer, add. Oh, I don't have to keep this sidebar open the whole time. I can just uh, open my layers as I need them rather than having to keep this sidebar open the whole time. Well, let's see, what else do I need? I need a pretty, this purple wreath. New layer. Oh, I need to hide that one. New layer. I need the flamingo from this set. Okay, hide, add a new layer, I need a calendar, I'm pretty sure this was a freebie in one of Jenny's newsletters, add, and I wanted a pretty flag that actually came with the Bible journal, this sheet came with the Bible journal, and we'll hide that one too. Okay, so now I'm going to hide the sidebar, I'm pretty sure that's all the stickers I wanted, make this bigger again and let's go to this first sticker sheet we're going to turn it on I'm going to click the selector tool and I'm going to tap the screen at the corners so that I can get this sticker copied out of there I'm going to copy and paste by clicking if you look at the bottom you see freehand automatic and two lines if you click that two lines it will copy and paste that into its own layer. Okay, so I didn't delete, I didn't cut anything out of this original sticker sheet, so I can use that again. We're going to hide this layer. 
and I'm going to go back into this layer and work in it. I'm going to click my arrow tool and size that to fit my sheet, my page. Now you don't have to cover your page numbers. I, I prefer to do that, but you certainly don't have to. Okay, now if you want to go back and resize this first one, you can actually you can do whatever you want here. Now that my washi is in tape is in place, um, I wanted to resize that. So I'm going to go back to this one that I just worked on. This this one. I'm going to slide to the left and duplicate. Now I have two of those. Click my arrow tool, drag it over. Tap, tap, tap to get it right into position exactly where I want it. Whoops. Undo at the bottom. Undo. And just place it right where you want it. A little bit further. Undo. Undo. Come on. There we go. All right, so now... I'm going to, actually, I don't like that. I'm going to make that a little bit shorter. There we go. So that my, it lines up better with that inner, with that center line. Okay, now I can put a finger on each one of these and pitch them together to make them into one line, one layer. Or if you click the top one and click merge down, it does the same thing. It merged those two into one layer. Okay, so all right now next we're going to go back to the same first sticker, turn that layer on, use my selector tool and I'm going to again touch the corners of this washing and I'm going to click the double lines at the bottom, copy and paste those flowers into their own layer Deselect the sticker sheet, go back to my flowers, arrow tool, and I'm going to size that to fit inside my sheet. And just put it where I want it, right here at the top. Okay, get it where you want it, and duplicate, slide to the left and duplicate. Move that second one over. Make sure it's where you want it to be. Merge those down so they are one layer. Click the little N there next to your check mark and you can change your opacity. I'm just trying to, my that layer at the bottom is light, so I don't want these flowers at full at full uh, opacity. Okay, and actually I don't like that the flowers cover the words daily plan so I'm going to move this layer below the words so that you can see the letters. Let's make those just a little bit taller to reach the top of the sheet. There we go. All right. So let's see, next sticker sheet, I'm going to click the S, and because I'm in freehand, I can simply draw around this, or I can tap corners, double line again, copy and paste that sticker into its own layer, I'm going to hide this sheet, arrow tool, move this one where I want it, back to my sticker sheet, and I want, nope, I want the S tool. I want the pink. Double line. Hide the original sheet. And I'm going to put that over. I'm just going to decorate a little bit here. Now, you can't see the letters behind it, so I'm going to lower the opacity. Back to the original sheet. I want the green. Whoops, I need the 
has selected that one, double lines, hide the original layer, and I'm going to do this with all of those, all of these on the on the left side, left sheet here. Turn that on. S for selector. It's orange. Double lines. Hide the original. Move the orange to where I want it. Lower the opacity. Turn that one on again. I want the green. Whoops. I need the S. I need, whoops. Just tap. Tap the S off if you screw up and just start over. I got a little bit out of whack there. Double lines. Hide this one. Move this one. And just place it where you want it. Adjust the opacity. Now I only have four colors to play with here. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to just duplicate this one and you can you could have duplicated any one here I just chose to do this one there we go now let's go to the next sticker sheet let's go back to my selector tool and I'm going to draw around this read draw the lines at the bottom Hide the original sheet, Let's click on the wreath layer, and put it into position. Okay. Now I'm going to put the flamingo in next, double lines. Hide the original sheet. Flamingo where I want him. Now I have magnetic selected, so when I move this, I'm not losing the dimensions of the original sticker. And he's a little bright, so I'm going to lower the opacity. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's move him over just a tad. I'm tapping my screen. So I can just move him a little bit. And that love is also a little too bright, so I'm going to bring that opacity down just to match the look of the rest of the, of the sticker. Okay, now I'm going to turn on my calendar and I'm going to just deselect that. I want to make this big because I need to select really close to the letters because this was not, I didn't save it as a PNG, I probably saved it wrong. Um, double lines, but when I go to add that, uh, hold on, I need to turn this layer off. Okay, when I go to add that over, when I go to add that over my, my wreath, because I didn't save it as a PNG, so I need to make sure that I, when I copy and paste it, that I go really close to the numbers so that when I lay it in here on top, I'm not hiding the flowers from the wreath. And there I have April. So I have one more because I wanted this little guy. Double lines, hide the original. I wanted this little guy to cover the original little tab here. I like this guy better. And we're going to add a layer on top. And we're going to color that in. So if you look at the left side of your screen, you have a control that controls your brush size. And then you have a control that controls your opacity. 
and in between you have a square. If you hold a square and tap on your screen, you get a like a little target. Right in the center of that circle, there's a crosshairs, and it lets you select a color. So you can color match, and that put that color on the top right there. Now, I am in a new layer, so I'm going to pick a painting brush. And I'm just going to screw this up just for a moment, but when you draw, this color matches the denim at the bottom. So I two fingers to tap, two finger taps uh, erases, it's an undo. Two finger tap undoes and three finger tap redos. You also have undo and redo on your control panel there at the left. So I'm going to make this big, so I'm literally going to color this little flag here. Now this is completely preference, you don't have to do this, but I'm wanting to cover this. And um, here in a minute I'm going to put the color layer underneath so you'll be able to see all that stitching again. bigger so I can just fill in quickly. There we go. And yes, I'm hiding the lines. It'll, I'll show you that in a minute. I just want to cover. Okay, come on, Marie. There we go. All right, so if I drag this color below the pretty layer, you don't lose your lines. Okay, so now let's make this back. I think that's pretty much where we started. We're going to click on my layers, go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to deselect the row that has my planner. And I'm going to, oops, I'm going to desel. It doesn't let you touch that row at the bottom that says background color. I'm going to deselect the background color. So when you save this, click Wrench Tool, Share, PNG, it will save transparent without the background. Go back into Goodness, Long Press, Image, Photos, pick up that last one we just saved, and drop it into place. And you'll notice the sizing is just about right because we used the planner itself as a template. Tap off. Now it's not letting me tap off because I'm going to crop it. I need to be, I need to have somewhere to tap off my image or else I can't drop the image into place. So I'll hit done. And I'm going to now make it a little smaller. Oops. so that when I, I have room there on the side to click off the image and set it into place. So there we go. Now let me go back to my notes that I already had. I'm going to copy and I'm going to long press and paste and I can put that stuff right back in. So if you ever change your mind with your planner pages, you can redo them and not lose all your handwriting. Uh, just copy them over into somewhere else while you're working and then put your, put your handwriting back in and you don't lose your original stuff. There you go. That's how I do it. Thank you for watching.